Elephants are very large, but they are gentle and intelligent animals. They are important to humans too. Elephants and people have worked together for over 2,000 years. But when they work with people, the elephants are not in the wild. They are usually in captivity and in zoos or circuses. Over time, people have learned a lot about the way elephants act. However, there is one question that people are still asking. How can people keep elephants happy in captivity? Hey everyone, Trunkfoot salute. Angus Trunkfoot. Mike Hackenberger is an animal trainer at the Baltimore Zoo. His elephants are very healthy and seem to be happy. Make sure teeth are where they're supposed to be. We don't have overgrown feet. Right. This is all that good husbandry stuff. He even talks to his elephants. Oh, you're happy. Hear that? <laughs> That's a happy sound for me. That's a good sound. But can elephants be happy? Do animals have feelings? If so, are their feelings the same as people's feelings? There's a big discussion about this subject. Everything will be all right. Many people who work closely with animals say that they do have feelings and can experience happiness. Other people are not certain. There's one thing that everyone agrees on. Elephants seem happier and safer if their home in the zoo or circus is very similar to life in the wild. Hackenberger's talk with the elephants may even help comfort them. Head over. Good kids, come on. Let's go, fat man. <laughs> Move up. Banter, here to me. Watch yourself, Andy. There you go. Here to me. We're walking, guys. We're going. Come on, We're funny face. There. Good boy. According to Hackenberger, elephant training has improved in recent years. I'll tell you that, um, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, some of the techniques were a bit barbaric. Um, we've walked away from that, but society's walked away from it. Elephants are social animals. That means that they live in families and herds, and they need other elephants. If they are alone for a long time, elephants can start to act in an unusual way. Hackenberger talks about one elephant, called Limba. Limba was alone for 30 years in a zoo in northern Quebec. She didn't do well by herself. Hackenberger then tells how two other elephants came to live with Limba when they were only two days old. Limba fell in love with the two young elephants, he explains, and that's why she became a happier and more normal elephant. When he's training elephants, Hackenberger lets them do the things they do in the wild, and there's one thing elephants love. Oh, do you want to go swimming? Do you? Do you, do you want to go swimming? I think that's a Do you want to yes. go swimming? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's get in the water. Yes. Okay. So what is the answer to the question, how can people keep elephants happy in captivity? Hackenberger believes that elephants need to learn how to be elephants, just as they are in the wild. Well, it doesn't get better. No, it doesn't. Are they trained? I think so. They're trained to be <laughs> elephants. That's right. Just be an elephant. It certainly seems these animals are some very happy elephants.